Hello, and welcome to the Thoroughgood Associates video on R integration in Tableau 8.1. My name is Mare Newton, and I am a business intelligence consultant with Thoroughgood Associates. Thoroughgood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau. The release of Tableau 8.1 introduced a number of new features, including the ability to integrate Tableau with R. By integrating Tableau with R, you are able to enhance the native, more basic statistical capability of Tableau by leveraging the R engine. In this video, I will show you how to get started with Tableau and R. For more information on ways in which you can leverage R using Tableau, please check out some of our other videos on Tableau and R integration. R is a popular open source statistical language with over 5,000 pre-built packages for applying common statistical techniques. For anyone who is unfamiliar, you can get started with R by downloading it to your local computer. You can then install a package called RServe. RServe is a server package that allows other programs to use the facilities of R. In order for Tableau to connect to and then leverage the analytics engine of R, RServe must be installed and running. Tableau is able to leverage any packages, functions, libraries, or models that are saved within the instance of R that it's connected to. Tableau Server can also be configured to connect to R, enabling data sources and workbooks that contain R-based calculations to be shared on a much wider scale. Through Tableau table calculations, R script is passed from Tableau back to R, and then results are calculated in R and passed back to Tableau. These results can then be used within Tableau visuals and dashboards, just like any other table calculations. To show you how to get started, I'll first open up Tableau and set up my R connection. I'm opening up a brand new workbook, and now I'm just connecting to the sample Superstore extract that I have that came with my Tableau installation. To set up my connection, I'll go to the Help menu, go down to Settings and Performance, and then choose Manage our connection. The default settings connect to your local machine, or local host, using port 6311. If you have RServe installed on a server, then you can adjust the settings by typing in a server name or an IP address instead. Since I have R installed locally, these settings should be correct, so I'll just test my connection, and it succeeded, so I'll click OK, and then I'll click OK again. I'm now ready to interact with R. Once Tableau Desktop is connected to RServe, it can invoke the R engine through calculated fields. I will create a calculated field now to show you how this works. I'm going to name it Expected Profit. There are four functions that are available for use with R, and they all begin with the word script. These functions include script integer, which will bring back integers, script boolean, which returns boolean results, script string, which results in a string being returned, and script real, which will cause R to calculate real numbers as results and pass those back to Tableau. For this example, I'm going to use the fourth script function, script real. I'm going to create a simple linear regression, but I will input multiple variables at once. I utilize double quotes to enclose the R script that will get passed back to the R engine. I then insert the R script for my regression. I use LM here, since I'm going to use a linear model, and I then put in my arguments. This model will have one dependent variable, so that's going to be argument one, and then I'm going to use three independent variables. So I'll use simple addition, and I'll place argument two, argument three, and argument four into my model. I then finish my statement, and close the double quotes around my R script. These arguments are just placeholders. When this script gets passed back to R, the arguments will be replaced with the Tableau columns that they correspond to. So my next step is to tie each of my arguments to fields in my data, so I input Tableau fields that correspond to each of them. My dependent variable here is profit, so I'll put sum of profit in first since that corresponds to argument one. Then, I'll put in the three other inputs that I want to use for my independent variables. These will correspond to arguments 2, 3, and 4. So in this case, average unit price will correspond to argument 2. And then, I'll pull in average order quantity to correspond to argument 3. And lastly, argument 4 is going to correspond to average discount. So I've put all of these in, and they're all separated by commas. These inputs will now all be pulled into my model 
for determining expected profit levels. All fields passed to R must be aggregated. So I'm using sums and averages here, but I could also use minimums or maximums if that's what made sense with my data. I can then close the parentheses on my script real function, and I can click OK. I'm now ready to use this calculation within my Tableau visualizations. For example, I can pull category over onto my rows, and then I can pull profit, and now my new expected profit, over onto my columns. And I can begin to analyze my model to see how my expected profit, calculated in R, compares to my actual profits. I can continue to analyze this further by pulling customer segment over onto my colors. And now I've created a stacked bar chart. I can also utilize order dates to break out my data by years or by quarters. And I can even change my chart type using show me, just like I would with any other Tableau visual. Please note that because all R calculations are treated as table calculations within Tableau, it is important to check that the calculation is computing along the expected direction. That concludes the demonstration. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mayor.newton at thoroughgood.com. You can also visit our website at www.thoroughgood.com for more information about our company, our services, or our upcoming marketing events.